That's right. Welcome to another edition of Fouled Up Cooking in the Kitchen. This week, we're going to do a what? A duck. A what? A duck. We're going to make a duck taco using duck leg confit wrapped in a soft flour tortilla. We're going to grill it. And then I'm going to show you how to make a mango salsa with red radishes, sliced red onions, cilantro sprouts that's scented with orange juice and finished with a mango puree. And fortunately for all of us, I have a friend with a mango tree. So that's why we have these mangoes with the stems on it. First, we gotta peel the skin off. It's green, only because it's not really that ripe, but that's okay because we're gonna sweeten up the duck and we're gonna take off another layer of this green. Watch your fingers. Mango. So this is what duck confit means. Confit is when you take the duck, you render out the fat, you take the legs, and you cook them inside of its own fat or juices. It's a four hour process, 350 degree oven. It's similar to braising, except the difference is with braising you use liquid. With confit, you use fat. Fortunately for you, I have a couple of them already ready. Voila, duck confit. You know what a raw duck leg looks like? Well, this is what it looks like after it's been confit style. Turn it over, it's got that soft flesh. You don't even have to move it to pull it off. Succulent and moist. Let's make some duck tacos, huh? First, the first part of this duck taco, I took the leg and I removed the meat from the leg, from the bones, from the skin, because nobody likes chewing on that stuff. As you can see, I didn't shred the meat, I pulled the meat. I want these big nuggets of duck, because you want to know what you're eating inside that taco. I'm gonna take this, put it into my saute pan. We're gonna make a little sizzle on it, give it a little crispness. When we crisp it up, that's gonna give us that little, more, a little another layer of texture in a pan. So we sit that, not moving it, on one side. Lay all the duck in there flat. Because it was cooked confit style, the duck fat is still on that meat, so we don't have to add any more fat to it. It's gonna crisp up nice. I'll show you in a minute. Now, while that's crisping up, I'm gonna make the mango salsa. So these mangoes, they got a huge pit in the middle of this thing. So we kinda have to go diagonal. Usually you make the first cut to find the pit. So we're gonna find that pit. Still haven't found it, which is good. We're gonna, this next cut will be it. Oh, I lie, see, there it is. As you can see, I've exposed it. I've exposed the seed, that way I know how to cut around it. And then we just cut around it. Now we're gonna dice, now I'm gonna dice these up. As you can see, I made nice slices off of the fruit. That way, you don't have to cut those big chunks and try to, and try to handle it, because it's slippery. Now we're just gonna make them nice dices. Let the knife do the work. As you can see here, I have a small bowl with a little bit of my hot sauce in it. It's an ancient Chinese secret. I'll tell you about that one day, maybe. We're gonna put our mango into the bowl. I have some slices of red onion. And then finally, only because I like the way the crunch and the radish goes with the mangoes, we're gonna slice that up. We're gonna make what's called julienne. First we make slices, and then we lay them flat. You're gonna see in a minute while I'm lining them up like soldiers. And then a julienne is a french fry cut. This one is gonna be a shoestring french fry cut. Then we're just gonna go right down the line. And then you got nice little matchstick size juliennes. That's gonna give us a nice little crunch and a little bit of a bite. And of course, some color. Now, take my orange juice. Mango orange juice goes very well together. This is a mango nectar. 
because we're making a mango salsa, so we want everything to have mangoes in it. Your friend and mine, salt and pepper, of course. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the sweet chili sauce and, and incorporate it all into this nice mix. If you can hear that, that's the crackling of my duck. That means that I'm ready to flip it and then we're gonna season that with a little more sweet chili sauce. Oh yeah. Ready? Watch the birdie. Oh yeah. See that crisp brown flavor, yes. I'm gonna take my sweet chili sauce and just kind of coat the duck with it. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the juice from the salsa and deglaze, deglaze the pan with it. When you deglaze the pan, you wanna kinda pick up all that flavor from the crispy duck from the bottom of that pan. You wanna bring this down a little bit. See how it's, it's, it's moist? See how it's really juicy? You wanna bring this down because we don't want it to bleed that, we don't want it to bleed too much in our taco shell. While we're waiting, you can do this with a, with a, you can do this with a saute pan. I happen to have a flat top. I got a uh, flour tortilla with a little bit of the duck fat on it and we're gonna just warm it up. I want it just warm enough so I can roll the duck meat into it. Just like that. Put that on the inside. I'm gonna take a little bit of scallions and pop it inside the duck leg. And then we're gonna spoon the duck leg onto the warm flour tortilla. Get it all, baby, get it all. Now we're just gonna roll it up. Make it even, we roll it up. And then I'm gonna put it back onto the flat top because I wanna seal the bottom. I put it in there dry because you don't want it too greasy. Plus we're gonna have all this sauce from the, from the salsa going on top of it. Get a flat spatula or something and then flip it over. It seals the bottom of it so that you don't have to worry about when you pick it up, if you pick it up, because here we eat things with forks and knives, but if you want to pick it up, it's sealed, it's in there. And then we're gonna flip it over one more time just to see what it looks like. Got that nice color. And then we make the move to the plate. Now we gotta do is garnish it. See that green mango salsa. Nope, not finished yet, just kidding. I got a couple of corn tortillas here. Crunch them up. And put that on top. And then we're gonna finish it with some of my organically grown cilantro sprouts. Another fouled up cooking in the kitchen for you. you duck taco. Oh, 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 oh,